What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Lex Reflex and today we're gonna look at one of my most notorious hands. This is actually the most asked about hand in interviews or by people live, in my life, online, ever. So let's take a look. We're playing high stakes poker. I just straddled to 1600. It's 2009. Bought in for about 200k. Still have that amount. Greenstein opens the five and FK. Ivy makes it 18,000 here on the button. And this is very interesting because I knew they had some sort of like disagreement, um, disagreement before the show started. And it really seemed from playing with them that Ivy was picking on him a little bit. He was making small comments, small barbs. Obviously Greenstein and Ivy have always been really good, but um, I definitely think that uh, there was something going on. Now, not only that, I have the perfect hand um, to four bet bluff with. King Jack suited, King Queen suited, really good. Because also it makes all of Ivy's ace high bluffs available if he has ace jack off, ace 10 off, ace six suited, all that stuff. Lex, who's got a decent hand, suspects that they're both out of line. And he's right. Really good hand to pick it up with. Make it 50k, we're out of position. Nice play by Lex, 51 6. A little bit under 3x. I like it though, we're super deep. I think Phil Ivy's posturing here and ivy asked me how much i'm playing i'm a little bit rushed here i have to say like we looked we looked back at the footage i'm a little bit rushed i wanted to seem very confident like when you guys saw the big game hand that i did in Le lex reflex where i talked to uh, uh negranu and i laughed at a joke a little bit awkwardly i think that this is also a little bit of a mistake i felt super confident i felt super calm so the funny thing is i actually think that Ivy picked up on a read that wasn't exactly there because I wanted to count quickly. I was very secure. I knew exactly how much I had. I, I Honestly, I didn't really give a fuck about anything back in the day then. So I just like, boom, 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 boom. That's how much I have. But I think he might have picked up on the fact that it was a little bit rushed, a little bit fast, as if I want the moment to be over. Doesn't want Barry to know he raised him with air. But who knows? Maybe Phil Ivy is just made of different steel. Come on, I don't believe it. Oh, I hate this moment. Oh, and I was watching this with friends and I told them about this hand and we were all watching this episode the day it came out and we're at my house and my friends really wanted to see what happened. And the moment they saw Greenstein open and Phil Ivy re-raise with the five deuce, one of my friends actually was eating a sandwich and he actually threw it in my face. They were all laughing at me and they left. They let me watch the rest of the episode alone. They left uh, just completely in tears laughing at me because I got bluffed so hard. So now... One of the first things that popped into my mind is like, why did he do it so fast? Um, and this is actually interesting because I, I haven't sold a whole lot of my action back in the day. And this hand is actually the reason for it. So I watched all the high six poker tape and there's this big hand that Ivy played uh, against Phil Helmut and he waits forever. It shows with Queens. Big hand he plays against Jason Mercier. Thinks for a while. And he went all in so quickly. And the first thing, like the first thing, like a blink moment, I thought to myself, why did he do it so quickly? And to this day, I wish I would have taken a lot of time because, and I'm not saying, right, the bluff worked. I'm not saying, well, I should have called because this hand is obviously not something you call 250 big blinds, $200,000 with all in. But I didn't consider the hand. And one of the only things that went through my head is like, how am I possibly going to explain calling off 200K after I sold 50% of my action for the show? And this is the last time I sold action on a cash game show. After this, no more. The episodes that are coming, no more action sold. All the big game episode, 100% of my own action. And this hand is the reason for it. Because I felt like something was off and I, I didn't even consider thinking about it. And I'm not saying that I would have called, but I didn't even consider thinking about it um, because of the action sold. And just like, you know, I didn't want to have like a Vanessa Selps Jack 7 moment where everybody's just like, what the fuck is going on, you know? So... Yeah, it's an awful big lesson. Obviously, I, I talked about this hand with Viffer and I was like, oh, what should I have done differently? And Viffer's simple answer was, don't bluff the goat with King High. So maybe that's the lesson after all. Phil Ivey, scary life player. Who knows what went through his head? Maybe he didn't give a fuck. Maybe he had a read. He's very good at these dynamics. Uh, I hope you really liked this video and all the insights. If you want more of these, uh, then make sure you sub to the channel because they're gonna be flying out. And I'm also gonna be talking about some current hands. Of course, if you wanna call me a liar and say that I didn't know anything and I got bluffed by the goat, make sure you hit me up in the comments. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I thought you were just angry at Barry. I am.
<laughs> that is one of the great bluffs in the history of high stakes poker. What a move.